They were the Grand Prix final champions this year. You just saw them on the podium. The 2019 National Junior Champions of Russia. And in eight junior Grand Prix assignments, they've only been off the podium once. Coached by Irina Zuk and Alexander Svinin, who teach Stepanova and Bukin, who we'll see again next week at the World Championships. Ooh, getting excited. Well, when the curtain opens on the stage in the theater, you get quite a reveal of what you're going to see perform, what they're wearing, what the lights are. The first image of these two are of two skaters who seem to match before they even moved. Yes, they have really nice physicality together, typically of most of the young Russian teams. Their biggest asset is their speed across the ice. They fly. Twizzles are very close together. Yeah. positions on the spins. Great flexibility from Sophia. Interesting exit, not just leaving the spin plainly, but doing some a series of intricate moves on the end. It's their choreographic steps is a new element for the dancers this year has to go basically across the middle of the rink towards or away from the judges. You're allowed to go from blue line to blue line. And it's just about that grade of execution, the GOE you see in the green box. The element's just worth a level one and then it's how much you can get for doing it well. That moment is a little less about the skating, more about the entertainment, isn't it? Yes. Well, the cry from dance coaches for, ye for the last few years has been, let us dance. Give us things where we can show dancing, not just a sequence of elements. And this is one of the things the ISU has given us to help with that. You wouldn't think ice dancers would have to fight for the right to dance. You'd be surprised, <laughs> Andy. <laughs> By the time you get all your elements done, you've only got about 12 to 15 seconds between them. Every year they make the entrances and exits to them more complicated, taking up more time. It's actually very hard to find a coherent theme now through programs. And hard to be an individual. Yes, find your brand. Sevchenko and Aramenko of Russia. This is their second World Juniors. Last year they finished fifth. This time around, they get on the podium with bronze. They're moving to the senior level Sofia next year. We look forward Aramenko, to seeing them there. Russia, Russia. Well, I said right off the top that just standing there in the first few moves, I got a really good feeling from them. I didn't lose it all the way through. I really enjoyed this skate, this team. Yes, they, they have a, a beautiful physicality together. The body lines match really well. The angle of the knee bend is really good. They have great ankle action in, in everything that they do. Um, the program just didn't move me in any way. I, I thought they skated it very well. I didn't find the music particularly appealing. And again, that's where it goes down to personal taste. If I'm a judge, that's going to influence me. <laughs> 